Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk about the uh, time conflict, clock conflict between uh, two operating systems, Linux and Windows. If you're using multi-boot, when you're switching between Windows and Linux, uh, or between Linux and Windows, uh, those two operating systems are going to show you, one of them are going to show you uh, the wrong time because one, uh, the time zone on these two are uh, different. So how to fix it? It's very simple. Uh, I'm going to show you the Windows side and right now because it's a little bit complicated comparing to Linux, but it is so uh, easy. It's really simple. Um, starting from Linux, you are just going to open your terminal and type these two commands. Each time is it, it is going to ask you the uh, super user password, enter your password, same password as your login for Windows, for Linux, sorry. And in your Windows, we are going to this path on our registry, and you are going to add this value to that, which is again very simple. How do we do that? Just type regret it, giving the permission. Here it is. This is the path that we are going to. HP local machine right over here, and then we are going to system. The last one. Find controls. Find control set, control, time zone, information. Okay, now we are in the folder. If you are using um, Windows, if your Windows is 32-bit, we are going to right-click, new, and uh, D-board. If you are 64-bit Windows user, you are going to select the keyboard. I'm using 64 bits. Keyboard. What is the name going to be? Real time is universal. Now the value for this, as you see over here, is zero, which means real time is not universal. So we are going to change this to this value. I'm just copying and Pasting it here, value data. Okay, we are all set. We just need to restart your computer, and they should both same the show the same thing. One quick note: if you don't know what is your um, operating system, just open the file explorer from the left side, right-click properties. It's gonna show you right over here. System type. 64 bit. If you are 32 bit Windows user, it's gonna show you 32 bit. I hope this is gonna help you and you guys have a nice day.